and uh, then that then next most important uh, term is uh, integrated part load value which is in short called as iplv and simultaneously we'll see uh, this non standard part load value that is nplv and uh, this uh, nplv is uh, again similar to the iplv so let us see what is uh, the difference and what is uh, the integrated part load value and non standard part load value so iplv or nplv is used to evaluate the efficiency of the chillers at different loading condition and uh, to calculate the calculation formula for iplv and nplv is nearly same uh, the only difference in uh, integrated part load value and non standard part load value is I think the name nomenclature itself uh, is uh, self explanatory that IPLV is the integrated part load value and non standard. Okay, so NPLV is a non standard. So IPLV is based on the standard as per the AHRI standard 550 590. Clear? So AHRI is the air conditioning, heating, and refrigeration institute. And this a AHRI it will uh, uh, standard 550 590 is given for this uh, IPLV standardization. If you are evaluating your refrigerating device with respect to this standard, then the value obtained is called as the IPLV. Clear? And if you are you are not uh, following this standard 550 590 and you are evaluating the uh, part load value or the performance of your chiller. Uh, based on the site condition or your uh, the local conditions then it is called as a non-standard part load value so iplv and NPLVs are uh, the formula remains same but the only difference is the condition uh, uh, based on which you are going to uh, doing the trial or uh, test your device so why iplv and lpl uh, nplv is calculated right because we are already having cop and uh, wer to evaluate the performance of refrigeration system then why iplv and nplv so i cop and wer are calculated based on the full load capacity suppose i am uh, using one tr refrigerator so that the assumption is that the, when i am going to calculate cop i will assume that the refrigerator is fully loaded clear but in real world in day to day life our chillers particularly air conditioning devices are never uh, or hardly they uh, run on their full capacity most of the time they are partly loaded so the value you are obtain from cop and wer and the actual performance is different right so for that this term uh, iplv or nplv was coined in order to take into account this part load uh, performance of your system uh, chillers in this case i am referring chiller that is again uh, uh, which chiller is supplied chill water or for uh, clear? so these chillers are uh, the refrigeration system uh, in short so this uh, refrigeration system as uh, one of the example of uh, chill tricks uh, cx uh, 34 uh, air conditioner is given and when they surveyed and they found that most of the time uh, your refrigerator or sorry your chiller uh, is at 75 percent capacity runs at 75 capacity 75 percent of their uh, full capacity or 50 percent of the capacity so 50 more than 80 percent of the time the chill uh, the chiller works between 50 uh, on 50 to 75 percent of the load full load clear and then 25 uh, 12 percent on 25 percent capacity and only you can see that interestingly their chiller works 100 percent or at their 100 percent capacity only one percent of the time clear it shows that the cop and double year values calculated are of no use because they are based on the assumption that on which your refrigerator or chiller works only one percent okay so most of the time your hvac devices or refrigeration devices are works on part load performance that's why this in um, iplv or nplv is 
cal uh, calculated and they will take into account the part load performance of the refrigerating devices so they have calculated the values performance of uh, these refrigerating devices are measured at different loading conditions say 100 75 50 and 25 percent so calculation how to calculate iplv and nplv so iplv and nplv is uh, for uh, as i told you that they are calculated for part load performance uh, part load energy efficiency is calculated at 700 percent 75 50 and 25 percent so various load points uh, these four load points are uh, fixed and uh, the values of cop at these four points that is uh, for example a is cop or double er at 100 percent b is at 75 percent c is 50 and d is 25 percent so with the help of the formula so iplv or nplv is given as 0.01 a 0.42 b plus 0.45 c plus 0.12 d so this is the formula to calculate iplv but if you are you don't have cop or double er and instead of this if you have to use this kilowatt per tr tons of refrigeration then you you simply inverse the things that is iplv or nplv is nothing but one upon 0 0.01 by a plus 0 0.42 by b plus 0 0.45 by c plus 0 0.12 by d only inverse and slight modification in the formula is required when you are uh, using the units okay a b c d as kilowatt per tons instead of cop or double er then the slight modification in the formula but this is a simple formula to evaluate the performance of your refrigerator based on the this formula clear and uh, this part load performance at iplv and nplv as i already told you that it is calculated based on the ahri standard 550 590 and this uh, 550 590 standard for various refrigerator uh, various chillers that is your operator um, based at water cool condenser air cool condenser your operately cool condenser so based on the types iplv is standards and non iplv is uh, non standards of course no uh, standard mention in the iplv is followed in calculating the lplv the detailed standard you can obtain from ahri uh, stand uh, ahri website where you will see the detailed procedure of uh, how to conduct the iplv uh, test with this standard 550 590 uh, one of the case study of uh, iplv and nplv calculated on uh, chill tricks uh, chiller and cx34 model as you can see that the part load performance uh, at various uh, loading 100 75 50 25 percent they have calculated the capacity total power energy efficiency ratio cop and finally double er uh, iplv based on double er and second is the part load performance for nplv so nplv double uh, or double er is given so iplv is 23.02 as they have find uh, find out and nplv uh, is uh, comes um, as approximately 31 uh, 31 only right so this is uh, such type of uh, uh, data you will get purchasing or the manufacturer will provide 